friends, this is Kirsten, and today I am so excited to bring you this episode. I had a ton of fun creating it on the set of Gunny Time Celebrity Edition with Adam Baldwin and myself. Adam Baldwin, you may know him from a ton of different movies. He's had an illustrious Hollywood career, but my personal favorite character of Adam's is, drum roll please, Jane from Firefly. Maybe it's the geek in me, I don't know, I don't care, but that's my favorite. If you have a favorite, put it down in the comments and we'll see if we go inside. For now, Adam and I shoot a 50 caliber rifle in this episode. It's high impact, high octane, and I hope that you have just as much fun watching this as I did creating it with Adam and the rest of the crew. So, enjoy the show. All right, people, we're coming at you today with a smoking lineup. We're gonna let the big dogs bark with Kirsten Joy Weiss and the Barrett 107A sniper rifle. So, whether you like to work long range or up close and personal, today is your lucky day. It's gunny time! Like this. All right, we have a beast this time. This is the Barrett M107A1 50 caliber rifle. It's a heck of a beauty. And to introduce and tell us all about it is a dear friend of the show, Kirsten Joy Weiss, YouTube sensation. Come on in here. Uh, tell nice us about this you, bad boy. Adam. Yeah, so you're right. It's the Barrett M107A1, and it shoots the 50 BMG. It is gonna kick like a mule. A 50 BMG, is that what you got there? Yep, right here. What is it about that round that makes it so impressive? That's huge. <laughs> Whoa. It's one baby. of the biggest rifle rounds, and it's basically a scaled up 30 out 6. You know, see the difference? Wow. Yeah, huge. 30 out 6. We were shooting 30 out 6 the other day. Those, those have quite a kick. This has a bigger kick. <laughs> so have you ever shot any Barrett 50 cals? Uh, yeah, I, I uh, at a demonstration I was able to shoot one of these things and it literally lifted me up off the ground. Yes, yeah, and imagine you were lifted up off the ground, yeah. so I'm gonna be like a chihuahua in a hurricane. Wow. <laughs> uh, this 250 pounds of romp and stomp and, well, 230 pounds of romp and stomp and dynamite, the other 20 pounds we're not gonna talk about. <laughs> but you, yeah, you're gonna come flying back off of the deck. Yeah, the slow-mo should be awesome. <laughs> So can you give us an idea what the difference uh, between the earlier generations? Sure, there's a few significant changes. The most significant change is that they actually made it lighter. Okay, and how does that affect the recoil and the accuracy and all that? Well, the fact that it's lighter means that there's gonna be a little bit more recoil. The okay. heaviness of a gun actually helps with the recoil. So if you've shot the previous versions, just expect a little bit more kick. Oh, okay. But I, the... I deserve a, I deserve a swift kick once in a while. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Well, we, we all do sometimes. And that right there? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, uh, describe the gun from uh, muzzle to butt, will ya? Sure. As you can see, we have a beefy muzzle brake on here, yeah. which is also gonna help with the recoil and kick. It's also suppressor ready, so that was one of the changes they made. Oh. So. Suppressors do not make a gun quiet. It's not a silencer? Not like, it's not like in Hollywood where it's the just 50 like, 50 caliber Pew! silencer. No. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a suppressor. It just helps, you know, your ears not to be burst into flames. Let's talk magazine yeah. capacity. So, mag capacity is 10 rounds. 10 rounds? And then you can have one in the chamber, so a total capacity of 11. And then you have the pick rail to put on any accessories, scopes. Obviously, this is a quick detach. I don't think that scope is gonna hold up to this 50 cal though, to okay. be honest. But it has iron sights as backup? Yeah, so these iron sights flip up here and back there. So I may actually get to learn about a little Kentucky windage today. Absolutely, and, and that's the thing too. If we shoot these iron sights today, I'm pretty excited about it, because not a lot of people shoot 50 cals with iron sights. So I think it'll be fun. Also a bipod, which is which obviously is heavy duty to handle this 50 cal. Then you have the monopod on the back just for stability because often this is shot prone. It gives a little bit of variation for if you're shooting in the desert and, and the ground is not even. I like to call the desert free America. I agree. Mm. <sighs> How yeah. far do you think you can shoot with this? Barrett says 2,000 yards, but the actual just range of this, 8,000. 
8,000 yards. So if yeah. I point it, if I point it up in the air, it's gonna it's gonna travel on a. Just artillery. what's that? What's that math word? Parabola. <laughs> Way out 8,000 yards and just come down with a little poof, right? Yeah. Well, if you're lucky enough to hit something, it's gonna take it out. Tell me a little bit about the history of this. Uh, Army, Marines, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who was using it? So right now, all branches of the US military use this gun. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's also used in a lot of countries around the world. Ronnie Barrett designed the 50 caliber rifle in 1982, and it was the M82 originally. Okay. So the M82 and the M107 were developed throughout time, and then basically, this version was created in 2011, M107A1. It is their newest model. So uh, the Barrett 50 caliber has uh, probably been romanticized as the best sniper rifle of all time out in the field, but there are differing opinions on that and the practical applications out in the yeah, field. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> I don't want to burst anybody's bubble, but I'm about to. Okay. This is not the most accurate platform. Why is that? The previous version reports say about three to four MOA, which is about three to four inches at 100 yards, 30 to 40 inches at 1,000. Okay, whoa, 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 slow back. Uh, MOA, explain that to me as if I'm a child, because I'm experienced, but I'm, I'm not an expert. Sure, no problem. Uh, it's minute of angle, minute and of so angle. it's roughly one inch at 100 yards. If it's one inch, it's one MOA. Oh, so at, at close range you get a, and, and the further out you go, the more expanding grouping you're gonna get. Got so, it. So you can have like a 10 inch group at 1,000, uh -huh. it's still a one MOA gun. Okay, and the 50 cal compared to say what, 308? Well, all this depends on a gun. I think that snipers that are going after actual personnel and want specifically good guns, they probably want a less than one MOA gun mm. or ideally a quarter to a half MOA. For those headshots. Eye shots. Mm. <laughs> you want it just done. Yeah, play misty so, for me, right? <laughs> there you go. Mm. What's the practical application of this in the field? This is actually for anti-material. So anti-tank, uh, parked airplanes, blowing up bunkers, concrete, steel. This will cut through a tank? Yes, especially with armor piercing rounds, which we will have today. Ooh. Yeah, I'm very excited about what that. What kind of armor are we piercing through? As a demonstration. I, I believe we're shooting thick steel plates. We got some steel plates back there? One inch plates. We got some one inch plates. It's gonna cut through that like butter. I think it is. All right, Kirsten, what do you say we go shoot this big beast? Heck yeah. Let's go. All right, you might wanna go grab some snacks or something because we're about to put on a show for you. After the break. Better put your ears on for this one. It's gonna get loud! Okay, range time. Kirsten, yeah. we decided to take off that glass because we didn't want to lose $2,500 piece of scope there, so. Absolutely, we're gonna do it old school style. It's gonna be a little bit more challenging, but I think you're up for the challenge. Ladies first. Well, thank you. Lock and load. We got a little dry ice out there and uh, we're gonna use double ear protection. Yeah. Just in case. All right. My turn. Job. Yeah, get it. <laughs> Got 
got it. <laughs> Sweet. That, works. that yeah. was awesome. All right, we need some more targets. Boys, bring them out. Set it up. Let's go. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, they set us up a nice new steel plate down there. And Kirsten, we got some great big sparky bullets. Yes, we do. Those are armor piercing incendiary bullets. <laughs> so they're going to leave a nice little hole down in that steel. Okay. Double ears. Yep. Nice grouping. You want to turn? I would love a turn. Why don't you finish off those rounds? Go on. All right. Beautiful. Fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, we got a special target coming for you guys. Uh-oh, Kirsten. Looks like there's some kind of oogly googly monster down there with a woman in his teeth. He's a damsel in distress. We better save her. Yeah. Kirsten, as always, pleasure. Thank you for showing us that Barrett beast. You are absolutely welcome, Adam. Thanks for having me on the show. Oh, that 50 was thumping. Long range devastation. <laughs>